Hi, my name is Tim Clark with Longshore Boats, located in Charleston, South Carolina. We're in a very sunny day here in Charleston today, and today I want to talk about how to use an anchor windlass properly. Now, right now we're on a boat that's equipped with a uh, Lumar 700 uh, Pro, and uh, there's some misconceptions, so le let me try to take you through how to use an anchor windlass. So on this particular boat, underneath the hatch here is the actual windlass system. And this component here is the anchor windlass. This is called the painter. And this is to uh, retain the anchor in case the chain were to release or the windlass was to release. Uh, and then, of course, we have a Roca anchor here on this one. And Rockness are very, very good anchors uh, for soft mud and sand. They dig down deep, so we like those anchors a lot. Uh, and then we also have the all-important Lumar tool, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And this has a receiver right here. Now this boat is equipped with a anchor windlass switch here and then one back at the helm. We're going to primarily use this one up here just to demonstrate how to use the anchor windlass. So the most important thing to realize about a windlass is that they are not an automatic anchoring system. In other words, uh, they need us to supervise or adult supervision uh, when using this. So what we want to make sure is that the uh, anchor is paying out smoothly and then also when we're retrieving it. And the number one culprit to an anchor not deploying properly or, or, um, or coming in is the road. Now, down in your anchor locker is uh, piled up in, in this boat about 250 feet of chain and line. And every once in a while, when you're bringing it in, you want to make sure that that is being packed evenly. Uh, and the, the way to do that is just to reach your hand in and, and push it down and make sure it's even. On the other side, you want to make sure that's not tangled. So before you go out, and maybe several times a year, you want to check that anchor locker to make sure that uh, the, uh, the line is all uh, flaked out properly and not going to tangle when you go to retrieve it or let it out. Okay. Um, the next thing to know is that before you use the anchor, you want to undo this painter. Okay. And the best way to do that is just to obviously unclip it and get it completely out of the way. Now we've already got the switch, uh, the breaker switch at the helm turned on on this. So I'm going to go ahead and release this in a mode uh, that is a, uh, the windlass is in and out. So all I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna press this button and the anchor is gonna pay out. Okay, it's gonna get to the rope, etc., and then you'll be anchored. Now. When we talk about anchoring a boat, the general rule is you want seven, uh, uh, you want seven feet of line for every uh, one foot of depth. So if you're in uh, 10 feet of water, you want essentially you want uh, 70 feet of, of road and chain out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in for the time being. And as it comes in, I'm going to show you what we've got on this line to help assist so we don't bang up the anchor. Now, if you see this little yellow tab right here, this is to let me know that the anchor is getting close. So that as I bring it in, I'm not gonna bang things up. So I'm just gonna gently raise the anchor, and then we're gonna make sure it just nice and easily seats in place, and then we would go ahead and put the painter back on here, okay? The other mode that we have uh, is to go ahead and just let the anchor free fall. In order to use that feature on this particular windlass, you're going to see this little um, pull release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and you're going to see this brass pin pop up. Okay, so now what we are in is called a free fall mode. So when I go to let this anchor, uh, you're going to see uh, this cap unwind, which will allow the gypsy to un, uh, free spool, and the anchor will just drop. So here we go on this. Okay, and there it goes, all by itself. All right, now when we got to a point where it was anchored, what we would do is take the line and we want to pull it from the boat end and we would tie it off to this cleat right here. And you notice how I'm just doing a simple figure eight. And I'm also doing it so the tag end of the line is on the, on the back end of the rope. So in other words, if I have to take it off, it's no problem for me to do that. You don't want to put 
make the anchor end uh, last on because then you'll have a real mess. You won't be able to get it off. All right. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and untie this now. And it's just gonna go ahead and, we're, we're not much tied right now, so we're just gonna kind of sit here. And I have a, a pilot at the boat, Gian, go ahead and gently push, put the boat forward. Okay, and watch my hand signals. It's always easier when you have two people. So Gian the helmsman is gonna, Go forward a little bit. I'm just going to give them a simple hand signal. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm using the boat to get up over the anchor. And then as he's doing that, I'm going to press the button. The windlass and gypsy are going to engage and start bringing the line in. Okay. Hold that right there. Okay. I'm going to stop so you can hear me. But you want the anchor line directly straight down when you go to pull it all the way up. And what that does is it releases, makes an uh, anchor easier to release. So here I go. Now I'm going to stop it for a moment. Just like I said before, I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and even inside the chain locker. Up again. Here comes our chain. Okay, so this is a common thing that you see on a uh, anchor windlass. When you go from the transition to the chain, it sometimes won't bite. So in other words, you see how that gets stuck right there. So what I'll do is I'll reach way up here, you can take a little slack and gently bump it till the chain engages. That's all you have to do. Okay, very gently. All right, so we, we come up, we'll see our tag right here. This lets us know we're getting close to the anchor line, anchor coming up. So we're gonna go real easy and we're gonna make sure that the anchor is gonna seat properly. Nice and gentle, and in it is. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna engage our painter. Okay, and then we're gonna close our hatch and latch it. That is how you use your anchor windlass. My name is Tim Clark with Longshore Boats, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please call us at Longshore Boats, 843-216-4700, or you can even email me at tim at longshoreboats.com. Thanks.